Balmer season 2. I finished it. I am one of the 50 people in the entire world that has seen and finished Balmer season 2. That is definitely an exaggeration, but I mean, come on. So previously I made a video about it. It was titled Balmer season 2 isn't that bad. And at that point, I had only seen two and a half episodes. And I kind of still stick to that. It's not terrible. It is bad in a lot of areas. And I am not surprised that this show is never getting a season 3. Let's just get down to it. I've seen Bomber season 2. Do I recommend you watch it? No, I do not recommend you watch it. I recommend you watch maybe the last two, three episodes. But even then, it's just, it's, it's annoying. The show's annoying. It's not enjoyable to get through. Unless you're like somewhat invested in what's going on. It takes a while because everything just slips over your head. The writing is, is just, it's okay. It's better than the first season. As I said in my first video, the jokes are better than the first season. But it's just still not good. The ending mystery reveal of who Mr. Scooby was all the time. I can see they were trying to cook, but it's just, it didn't, it didn't land. Valma and Daphne also being soulmates. It's a weird change. It's like, I guess you're canonizing soulmates now. It's like people have soulmates. Ghost is definitely canon in, in the universe. At first, it's like, um, you think Norval's hallucinating. But then the hallucination of Norval, Fred's mother, she's, she actually realizes she's a ghost. Um, so, I don't know. It, it's small things that's like, it is, it is digestible media. But it's just not worth your time. That's the thing. And I try to enjoy it. I really did. It's funny because I'm trying to find things to say about the show. And I guess to do that, let's just go through the characters. Valma, she's okay, annoying, self-centered, thinks the world revolves around her. I guess that's a character. It is what it is. Um, it's annoying. It's funny sometimes. Daphne, she's okay. Novel, he's also okay. Fred, he's just absolutely weird in the show. Especially in the last episode. I don't know what they were trying to do with that. Like, come on, what are you doing to my boy Fred? Like, come on. Scrappy is introduced, no Scooby, but Scrappy. He's a cool character, I like, I like how he's, he looks kind of like stitched together, he looks put together, he looks fucking menacing. You know, there's not much that I can, there's not, like, I'm not, I didn't come out of the show with any hype. I didn't come out with any, I immediately got to make a video on this, I immediately got to take notes on what I'm watching. It just, everything just, everything just flies by your head. Even the finale, I guess it did kind of feel like, you know, a finale in, in a sense, because it is a finale, right? It's the ending of the show. But it, everything just flies by your head. You don't really give a fuck about anything that's happening. It's just happening. In that sense, you know, that's why I say, do not waste your time with this show. Unless you want a useless, comedic, episodic, sort of mystery type of cartoon to watch with very very smart ass characters that will just annoy you a lot of the time but also you know sometimes it can be funny because you know the show is self-aware at times um at times i'll say that now it has been a while since i've seen the first season it felt like the first season had maybe had a bit of overarching story and this season it, it really does feel like a season two because it's so underwhelming you really don't need it in season three we don't need a season 3. Would I not mind seeing a season 3? Yes, I wouldn't mind it. Would it tarnish the Scooby-Doo brand even further? 1000%. So fuck a season 3 of Valma. But, but yeah, a lot of people have said that Valma was originally maybe pitched as a different show entirely. And then they were like, alright, we can just paste the Scooby-Doo franchise skins on the show. It's just a skin, right, over the show. It's pretty much what it is. The thing that makes Season 2 more enjoyable is they do have a little bit more references to Scooby-Doo. And does that make it watchable? Absolutely not. Um, does that make it worth watching? Absolutely not. But it's okay. It is watchable. What am I saying? It's, oh, it's okay. It's okay. The rating out of 10. What do I give Bomber Season 2 out of 10? Uh, two and a half. Maybe three. Maybe three. Uh, really, like this, it just left no impact on me whatsoever. If you're curious as to what I'm talking about and you want to get an idea of what I'm talking about, maybe check out a few episodes of season two and uh, come back to this video and let me know what you think of what I'm saying. Other than that, let me know what you think overall of the video. I want to hear what you thought of this season, even if you've seen it, if you haven't seen it, what has put you off from watching the show if you haven't seen it, what did you like, what did you dislike about it if you have seen it. 
all that shit all that shit let me know let me know but yeah like on this video would be super appreciated also you don't have to but if you would consider subscribing that'll be sick you know i'm trying to get on my channel you know what it is and just upload irregularly on shit that i fucking find interesting let me know let me know what you find interesting in the comments and shit i might check it out i probably will check it out and then i'll cover it on the channel that's one thing as well anyway have a good rest of your day i really appreciate your time if you've made it this far to listen to my annoying voice with a terrible microphone talk about farmer i appreciate you so much have a good rest of your day Bye -bye.